Welcome back, kindergartners. In this lesson, we're going to learn about the artist Mondrian. Mondrian was an artist who made artwork that looked similar to this artwork right here, and he made artwork that we call abstract artwork. It can also be called non-objective, but we're going to learn the word abstract. So let's say it together. That's right, abstract. And the artist's name was Mondrian. Let's say it together. Good. And so we just got done looking at the PowerPoint of some of these pictures um, from Mondrian and realized the kinds of pictures that he was making and how he got there by looking at trees and other things from nature. One thing that Mondrian looked at a lot and used in his artwork were these three colors red, yellow, and blue. And these three colors are called the primary colors. Let's say that together. Good. And so we're going to use a combination of these three colors in our artwork today. You're also going to need some of these black paper strips that look like this. Okay, they're inch paper strips. Okay, so you're going to start with a white piece of paper like this please put your name on the back and I'll give you a minute to put your name on the back please write it as neatly as you can now that you have your name on the back flip your paper over great now choose one of our colors I'm gonna start with a yellow Okay, take one of your yellow squares and we're going to glue it down somewhere on your paper. Remember our tap and glue glue bottles. There's a little button right here that's the on button. And if I squeeze as hard as I can, nothing comes out. You have to press that button down in order for the glue to come out. So you press down and squeeze. And there's my little bunny hop. Bunny hop, bunny hop bunny hop. Okay, then you're going to take your paper, your colored paper, and flip it over. You can glue it anywhere in your paper. Okay, then we're going to take one of our, a different color. I don't care which one, but a different one. Okay, I'm going to take this red one and I'm going to cut it. Remember, with our good cutting skills, you're going to have your one finger out your other fingers in the bottom and your thumb on the top. You're always going to cut away from yourself. Make sure that you're safe and you cut away from yourself. We're going to cut the paper right down the middle. Just like that. Then I'm going to turn it and cut it in half again. So I have a small square. Take that one small square and glue that somewhere on your paper. One bunny hop, two bunny hop, three, four bunny hops. Now take that piece of colored paper and glue it somewhere else on your paper. Notice how I have the edges of my colored paper parallel with the edge of my white paper. Now I'm going to do the same thing with my last color. Now you've been using different colors than I have. So you're going to take your last color, whether it's red, yellow, or blue, one of the other primary colors, and you're going to cut it in half, and then turn it and cut it in half again. So you have another little square. Glue that somewhere else on your paper. Take your glue bottle, bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop. So you've got four little bunny hops. And now take that little square and flip it over and put it somewhere else on your picture. Now you have all of these other little pieces of paper. I'd like you to pick two other pieces. I don't care which ones. You could use blue, you could use red, you could use yellow. You could use a tri or a, sorry, a square. You could use a rectangle. Or if you want to use one of the papers and actually cut them into smaller rectangles or smaller squares, 
you could do that. Okay, so the, the things we're learning here are the squares or rectangles, whether it's a thin rectangle, a wider rectangle, a small square, or a big square. And you're going to take one of those others and glue it down somewhere. I'm going to take this small yellow square and glue it down right on the edge of my paper. And I'm going to take this blue rectangle, four bunny hops, push down and squeeze with your glue. And I'm going to put this one up here. And notice how all of my shapes are parallel with the edge of my paper. Once you have five shapes glued on, one, two, three, four, five, you're going to stop at five colors. Now that you have those five colors glued on, we're going to take our black paper strips and we're going to start gluing those down. What we're going to do is we're going to take them and glue them right next to our colors, just like that. Sometimes you might have to overlap, but we're going to glue it all the way across the paper. So I'm going to start with this piece of paper right here. I'm going to put my bunny hops right down the middle of my black strip and then I'm going to flip it over and line it up so it just meets up with my yellow square and it's going to end up going and overlapping my blue square. Now any place that that black paper overlaps you can trim it off with your scissors. Now, I'm going to take my other black piece, or another black piece here, and I'm going to glue it this way on my paper. Okay, so I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to push down and squeeze and make my bunny hops. Then I'm going to take my black paper and flip it over and line it up with my yellow rectangle. Sorry, square. Now this extra little bit that's laying over the edge, I'm going to trim that off. And now I'm going to trim one of my black pieces. Take one of your black pieces and see if you can cut it in half the long way. I'm going to take this paper and do my best to cut it in half the long way this way. So I get a nice thin paper strip. Notice how I was cutting away from myself that whole time. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to glue it right here. So it's going off just the top of my paper. Okay, I'm going to take this and use my glue to do what? That's right, bunny hops. Just little bunny hops right down the middle of my paper. Take your paper and flip it over. And line it right up with your other square. Whatever color that square is. Then, trim that extra bit off. and use that extra bit somewhere else. Line it right up with the edge of your color. So here we go, I'm going to put my bunny hops on. Bunny hop, bunny hop. And I'm going to put it right here underneath my red square. And I'm going to trim this edge off. and take my leftover here and put a little bit more glue on it so it'll stick and put it right here by my yellow square.
square and trim that off. Now, depending on how much time we have, you could add some more lines and add some more colors if we have more time. Notice how in this one I outlined my red rectangle. Notice how in this one the blue is outlined and I cut really small strips of paper here for my red. Okay, so the things that we learned today are the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. We learned about the artist, Mondrian, and we learned that he made artwork called abstract art. Sometimes it was called non-objective art. Okay, and what he was trying to do is search for harmony and balance between lines, colors, and then he created and made those shapes looking for the balance between where he put all of those shapes. And that concludes our Mondrian collage.